Today, uh, due to popular demand, we've had a few people asking how to set up a Spectrum AR9020. So we're going to go through and show you how the servo allocations work um, and how the receiver functions. Okay, the first thing we'll talk about, and this is the most common question we have, is where the bind and data port is on this receiver. Now, as you can see, there's the list of the servo allocations here. The one that we're looking at is the bind and data, which is in the bottom uh, left-hand corner. Now this one here relates not to the pin directly next to it, it's actually the one on the bottom here. So for your servo allocations, again we've got two rows of pins. This, this row on the furthest left relates to the row on the bottom of the receiver and the row on the right relates to the top row. So you're essentially getting this list and flipping it on top of the servo or the pin allocations at the side of the receiver here. Okay, so we've got the bind plug, again bind data on the left hand side, we're flipping it over, the left hand side, bind plug goes into there, that'll allow you to bind the receiver. Okay, the 9020, you'll notice that there is a label on this side of the receiver and there is also a label on the other side of the receiver. So you'll notice that the bind data position has changed. So we're looking at the other side of the receiver, now that you'll notice the bind and data is on the right hand side, the right hand list. So that relates to the right hand pin allocation. So that's the same for all the, the servo outs. Um, and they just relate directly to the pins on the side. So there you go guys, hopefully that makes sense of the pin allocations on the Spectrum AR9020. If you do have any questions about servo setup or servo allocations, you can ask.